Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So this time we are going to make the RPDs from the heat cure acrylic resin material. We will study all the complete procedure. And in this video we will place the acrylic tooth on the cast. I am using this ideal cast. I am going to fix the premolars. So I will file the premolars on the cast with the filer. File it bit below the cervical line such that our acrylic tooth will completely fit into it. So after this we will make the clasp. We are going to make the C clasp here with the 19 gauge stainless steel wire. Take proper measures and make the C-shaped arm here. Our C-arm should fit in the buckle portion of the crown almost at the height of the contour or just below it. Give proper bends to the wire and adapt it to the cast. Cut the excess wire and make the tag gum here. So here our clasp is ready. So we will put the wax on the tag arm and the above portion except the C arm which is on the buckle side. We will seal all the other portions of the clasp. So that it does not move during the denture, pro denture making procedure. Add wax on the filed portion. So we are going to fix our acrylic tooth in it. Check the occlusion and seal it properly. After this add a short strip of wax on the buckle side. And also on the palatal side we will add uh, the strip of wax. Cut the proper shape of the wax sheet. And fabricate it on the palatal side. Do the marking till the cingulum of all the teeth and remove the excess wax above it. Also cut it from the posterior region. Remove the excess wax from, wax from the buckle region. Only a square sheet just below the teeth is to be present. So our wax pattern is ready here. 
so now we will begin with the flasking procedure so this is our upper flask and this is its lower unit and we will be putting our cast like this in it so let's begin with the procedure so first we will take the plaster material as much as it is required to fill the lower unit of the flask mix it what with the water and pour it into the lower unit pour it almost uh, three fourth of it and now we'll put our cast in it half of the portion should be open remove the excess material make it in the plane with the flask and allow it to set for some time after this we will add the separating medium here you can use the brush for applying you can apply it everywhere except the acrylic tooth because we want it to be fixed in the plaster so i have put here the middle portion here and i am going to pour it with the plaster fill it completely and put the lid on it and then put it under the bigger clamp and apply high pressure on it so excess material will flow away here and let it here for 15 to 20 minutes after it sets completely remove from the bigger clamp and put it on the smaller one and now we'll put it in the de-waxing unit for 5 to 10 minutes So here I have removed it from the de-waxing unit. Remove it from the clamp and now we will open it with the hammer and the wax knife. So in this way you have to hit it. So it's open here and we can see here our teeth are embedded in the other side and so much extra wax is present here so we will put hot water onto it and remove all the wax. After this again apply the separating medium on both the parts except the acrylic tooth and now we will we'll take the monomer and polymer with proper consistency and mix it well cover the bowl with something for almost 3 to 4 minutes till our mixture reach reaches the dove stage so we can see here it has become a dove like roll it onto the hands mix it well
take some of the dough and put it on the acrylic tooth region press it little so our teeth are embedded in it apply it on the palatal area on the other half use little monomer to make it plain so we'll put the all the parts together again and put it under the clamp and apply high pressure we will keep here almost for half an hour After this, remove the flask and put it in the smaller one and then we will put it in the curing unit. So here we will keep it for 3 hours. So after removing it, let it cool for some time and then again with the wax knife and the hammer, we will open it. So our uh, denture is in the middle portion, we will hit, the, hit it with the hammer from the sideways. Break the plaster and remove the denture from it. So we can see here how it is formed nicely. Remove the excess portion as much as you can remove it with the hand and remaining we will remove using the straight hand piece and the burrs. So we will remove the excess material, trim it off from all the sides. Finish it properly from the cervical regions. Give the proper shapes of the tooth. They are going to fit in it. So clean it with water and we can see here our RPD is ready. This was made on the ideal cast. You can make it on the impressions of various patients and handle it to them now. So thank you everyone for watching this video, do like the video and share it to your batchmates. Thank you.